Hey everyone, I'm Sam, and this is Way Too Late TV. And today on Endwalker Highlights in Final Fantasy XIV Endwalker, um, we are going to go to the Magna Glaucius uh, in Garlemald and uh, Amonalane, good old Amonalane, the uh, twinkle told gentleman of light, uh, lends us his telescope and his eye and spies a uh, girl running in the snow and... Uh, why not chase her? We'll see how that ends up. Fine, I hope. Let's take a look. Between here and the center of the capital lies the Eblen Rhine. I would have you search the area for survivors. Okay. Your keen sense of direction honed in your extensive travels should prove useful in navigating the ice fields. Ice fields. I hate the sound of it. If there are any survivors, we will surely find them. Extensive travels is something of an understatement, but I suppose if there's nothing else it needs doing. Ice fields! I love ice fields! Oh wait, no I don't. I gotta answer as Kaylee. If there are any survivors, we will surely find them. Uh, by the way, I gave Kaylee a bit of a makeover. Her, ha her hair is darker look now. look forward to greeting you on your safe return. I have faith that you will and look forward to greeting you on your safe return. You all have your duties. Let us make haste. May the fury bless and keep you. Okay. All right. It would be good if it's if this if it's this cold with Tataru's clothing, I dread to think how we'd fare without it. I must remember to thank her next time we meet. It makes me realize, too, that while the people of Garlemald have spent their whole lives in conditions like these, even they'd be hard-pressed to survive away from the warmth of their homes. If there are any survivors, we must find them, and quickly. Boop. Menelaine is, as usual, milling about aimlessly. What ho, chums? Been giving something to do, have you? As it happens, I do have been ordered to make myself useful. Sounds like a rather tall order. Hmm, since you asked, we're to scour the Eblem Rhyme for survivors. What? Wander around ice fields on the off chance you'll find someone? You'd take forever to finish the job without the benefit of my expertise. Or more specifically, my telescope. Come, friends, I know just the spot to begin our search. Lord. I'll probably regret this, but we may as well humor him. I spy with my little telescope. A massive sheep thing? Or maybe it's a cow. Now, not what we're after either way. Is that an ether current? Oh no, just a wind sprite. Hmm. Other than that, it's all snow, snow, snow. But lo, what do I see? Oh yo Oh yon hillock. There's no mistaking it. That's a girl. A survivor, show me. Over there, behind that tree. It looks like she's running away from something, though surely not us. She wouldn't even know we're here unless she had a telescope like mine. Oh, and take these warming tinctures with you. Poor girl must be chilled to the bone, if not on the verge of freezing to death. The girl in the green dress anxiously surveys her surroundings. Were you to call out to her from this distance, it might attract wild beasts to your location. It would be safer to get closer first, but to, you must do so without drawing her attention. Follow the girl from a safe distance. The objective will end in failure if you're noticed. Make use of cover such as rocks to approach her without being seen. Similar theme. 
the objective will end in failure if you fall too far behind. Should you fail to complete the objective, you may try again by returning to the designated location. Rocks. Giant tree. Sprint. Rock. Giant tree. Far away. There we go. Do we complete? Nice. Phew, still in one piece. Who are you? Stay back. This house is packed with explosives. Take another step and I'll blow this place sky high. Please, we just want to talk. I'm Alpha No. This is my sister Alize and our good friend Kaylee. We have no intention of hurting or taking anything from you or anyone else. I give you my word. We and our comrades have come to provide aid to the people of Garlemald. Aid? You savages are the one re responsible for this. You did this to us. We didn't, I promise you. One of the other reasons we came was to find out what happened here, in fact. I'm sorry, I don't mean to overwhelm you. Let's start with introductions. Can you tell me your name? My name's Licinia. As for how I've managed to stay sane, I've been asking myself the same question. Ever since that night, and the roar, that terrible roar, and then the screams. I was screaming too, I think. I'm not sure, I can't remember. As for the explosives, I was making that up. I just wanted to keep everyone else safe, and I didn't know if you were... <sighs> the truth is, our supplies are running low. You said you're here to help, can you? <laughs> Anything over here? No. Aha. Alpha no. They attacked me. Caught me off guard, forced me to defend myself. I fear they fared rather worse than me. You can't fool us. We know. We know what you're about. Vultures, that's what you are. Waiting in the wings for us to show weakness, then you, in you swoop. Here to help. What a rod. All a ploy to make us lower our guard. Let you in. Put ourselves at your mercy. Put us in your chains. Steal our lands. Get your revenge. Save the arguments for later. We've got bigger problems. I found empty medicine bottles in a bed that was still warm. It's true, Licinia was hiding her sick sister inside the house. But now there's no sign of either of them. Where are they? Where did they go? Away from you and yours. If you think I'll tell you you're a fool, I'd never give up my people. We're trying to help them, you idiot. Her sister's ill, the empty bottles prove it, so the medicine ran out or she put it in her pockets to make it easier to carry. Or to avoid the sound of clinking glass. There are beasts everywhere, how could you let them go alone? To protect them from you. You invade our homeland, taint it with the same sorcery used to slay our countrymen. A garlean should sooner die than suffer the insult. Better for them to flee, keep their purity intact, than be corrupted by your vile magics. We were waiting, waiting for a chance to free them since the moment you arrived. This is giving us nowhere. I cannot say how Lucinia and her sister will react when we find them, but we find them we must. Go on without me, both of you. I first need to tend to my injuries and theirs. I'll join you in the search after. All right, be careful. We'll do our best to find them quickly. There we go, Alize. Two sets of fresh footprints. Young woman judging by the size. This is definitely them. Come on. Fresh blood. Ah, oh, crap. The blood staining in the snow appears to be fresh. Judging by the amount, the victim may have been severely wounded. The trail of blood leads southeastwards. There we go. Ah, jeez. 
Abyssinia. The two bodies are already cold. trail we found one they were attacked no Safer to brave the wilds than trust in our magic. We should have... I should have... We can't leave them like this. We have to take them home. What if we're only making it worse? Mm -hmm. Let's talk to Alize. There must have been something we could have done, but what? Should we have never come here? Would they still be alive if we hadn't? Don't, don't overthink this. Really, don't, don't overthink this. <laughs>